All right. Okay, so before we go any further, I'm going to kind of tell you what I see, and we can take a look at the video for a second, but I see you kind of moving off the ball just a little bit. When you're taking that backswing, I'm seeing the center line of your body just move slightly over, and I think what's happening consistency-wise is you're not always getting back to a good impact position. Now, what I like to try to feel in my personal swing, what I've been taught is to load and transfer. You should be able to feel that when you take that golf club to the back of the backswing, you're loading the right side, but you're not getting off of this right hip. You're not moving off of that right hip. You're loading as you take the club back, but try not to sway because that's where the inconsistencies are gonna come in. So almost like there's, a, there's an imaginary line here, good. And then we're just gonna to try to feel load. And as soon as we start the downswing, it's drop and transfer. Yep, good. Okay. Yep. So what do we feel there? Definitely clipped it. Yeah, so we came in flat, right? Yep. So that would be one of those ones where we might want to try to feel a little bit more hitting down, uh, which is going to give us, you know, of course, the strike higher up on the face, right? right. When we're coming in thin, we're going to hit those bottom two, three grooves. Right. Yep. So let's try that one more time. Let's try to get... Okay, good. A lot better. Excellent. So out of those last three, um, I think maybe a couple of them felt a little bit thin, but do you feel yourself, I mean, even just having a tool like this to kind of hit down on the ball, Yeah, it's right? definitely going to cause me to come in yeah. steeper. Yeah. Um, I do like that drill. Yeah, it's a good drill. And then, you know, you don't, you can use a, you can use a T behind here. There's so many different things you can do, yeah. a clipboard or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So let's just start out with a couple. And the first thing I want to work on is just having you take that golf club in a straight back direction. So. Go ahead and do me a favor real quick. Address that ball. I want you to feel something real quick here. So, you know, we're taking the golf club back, which is considered on plane. The feeling that I like to have is just have that golf club go straight back up the plane. So when you get to, I would call this the nine o'clock position, the golf club is pretty much parallel to your toe line. Then you continue to go up the swing plane. So okay. let's just do that a couple times. This just is a kind of a straight back takeaway. Good, awesome and good. So let's just try that feeling on these shots here. All right, excellent. So I like that a lot. Um, so, you know, one thing that I've always been taught and learned over the years is if you do start feeling that flip, it's usually coming from your dominant hand. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah. we do everything right-handed, right? right? So if you think about it, when we start feeling that, that little flip at the bottom, it's usually coming from our dominant hand. So the feeling that we're looking for for all of our chip shots, our pitch shots, any approach shots, is to feel like we're pulling through to the target. We're pulling through to the target. And then... Now that was real nice. What did you feel different on that one versus the first two? I mean, that's the problem. Not much. Not much. Okay. All right. Or, or at least not that I'm picking so up. Not, right. You're not being uh, able to differentiate what's causing right the big draw okay excellent so all right um so let's do this let's get right into some instruction i want to kind of give you a couple of things that i think will help let me just turn this off real quick okay um i'm gonna show you what i saw in the video okay so let's just switch spots real quick um the first thing i saw when you know going back to the i think the first lesson we worked on i saw a little bit of a movement in the backswing yeah i i, I saw it more on the first two than on the third but you did, you did essentially on the first one, you did move laterally a little bit. And again, I think that could be accentuating that early release in the downswing. So definitely, Jason, what's causing the early release in the downswing is getting to the impact position and then actually letting the golf club pass the hands before impact. Okay. I call it early release. Some people call it pre-release. But basically, I want to try to get rid of that altogether. So one thing that I do um, that I've, I've taught for years on is to have somebody address the ball, okay, pick the golf club up over the ball. This is one, just one kind of f mental thing that I do, and let the golf club flow over the ball and try to feel like you're swinging out, okay? Not letting the, not letting the golf club pre-release or early release in the downswing. So when you equate that to your swing, and this, is be, this could be something you do, uh, Jason, as a pre-shot routine, whether you do it over the ball, I wouldn't probably recommend that in case you hit the ball, but maybe back in a practice swing position, but let the golf club go straight back, make a good shoulder turn, and feel like you're swinging out so that when you make your normal swing, you're gonna be able to swing out over the ball and be able to have a nice 
straight ball flight instead of that snap hook. Yeah. Take your driver and turn it upside down. And one thing you want to be very careful when you're doing this is don't let it hit the ground because you will snap the shaft, okay? But just take and turn it upside down. And what we want to feel here, Jay, is letting, when you're, you, you can kind of hear this swoosh when, when you're doing it incorrectly. The swoosh would be behind the ball in an early release. The swish in a proper release would happen after the ball. So, you know, I hate to say it, but you know, sometimes we're on the golf course, we're searching for a feel. This could be something you do. You stand into your shot. You, somebody else is hitting the ball when you're doing your practice routine. You're back here. And you're trying to get that feeling of creating that extension after him. Yeah, I can definitely hear it. I can definitely yeah. hear it out here. Let's try a couple where you're you're making your normal swing. No, no, wait, no, hold on. Did you hear that? I did. It kind of happened back here. Yeah. So let's try to let's try to move that sound out here. There you go. 